Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop, where I try to give you tips on how to build better rockets. Today I'd like to talk to you about engine mount adapters. Basically, an engine mount adapter allows you to put a small engine into a rocket that has a bigger engine mount. Now, specifically, I'd like to talk to you about using the engine mount adapter with an engine retainer, such as this one here from Aeropack. Um, there's two types. The first type is the um, aluminum one, and this one is from Rocketarium. This is an 18 millimeter to a 24 millimeter. Um, now these are designed specifically for reloadable engines. Uh, the reload engine has the thrust ring built onto the back end of the rocket. So when you put it into the rocket uh, engine mount adapter, it slides in and it will stop and then you slide it into the back of the rocket engine like this um, and then there's this little metal washer that goes into it and you screw it on oops sorry about that I'll put that inside there there we go and then it secures it in place so that it can't move either forward or backwards um, now this is a reload engine but most people have just the single use Estes engines. Now the Estes engines like this one here don't have a thrust ring on the back so when you slide it in it just keeps on going. So what you'll need to do is to build up a thrust ring and for that I recommend uh, this is uh, automotive uh, pinstriping tape um, for masking off for for cars when when they're painting cars and you'll find this in an auto parts store. Um, so basically and it's 1 8 inch wide and you basically build up a thrust ring on the back of the rocket engine like this and you only need to go around maybe two times there's plenty and push it down really hard so that when you put it into the engine mount adapter it will stay put and then at this point it's just using it just like you did before you slide it in and you screw on the cap and it holds the rocket engine in place. Now that is the um, specifically the engine mount adapter from Rocketarium. Um, now in a previous video I showed you how to build an engine mount adapter and if you go to the Apogee Components website at www.apogeerockets.com and go up to the downloads menu and then scroll down to the advanced construction videos you'll see how to build uh, this um, engine adapter. Um, and it looks kind of funny, uh, but basically it works really, su really sweet. Um, this end here is the front end, this here is the back end, um, so that when you put it together, and it's designed for an engine hook, but you can use this with the um, engine, uh, engine retainers um, just by reversing it. So instead of putting the nozzle on this end, you put the nozzle on the other end, put it together, and basically how you use it, you just put some tape on it. And the tape is really just to hold it together to make it easy to pull out uh, because it's going to leave one part of the um, tube inside the rocket and this way when you pull it out it's all going to come out together. Now this side is now the um, nozzle side and if you watch that video you'll see how to use it but bas basically when you put it in it's just going to slide way too far forward because there's no stop on it so to build up a stop um, again go back down to your auto parts supply store and this time get some quarter inch wide masking tape and put it onto that ring here. And this time you're probably going to need maybe five or six layers of tape because you have to build up a bigger thrust ring. Just make sure it's on straight. Let's see if I got enough. When you push it in, oh, too much actually. Let's 
There we go. That's enough. It, is, it does stick out a little bit, but that's okay. You just put it on there, twist it down, and there you go. It, it will hold the engine adapter in place with the rocket motor in place. And uh, again, this I show you how to do this in a previous video, and these are cheap to make, um, and it'll save you a little bit of money. They're not as pretty as these, so if you're going for looks, definitely get this one. Um, if you're on a budget, you might want to build one of these. Um, but that's my tip. Uh, my name is, again, is Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Um, for more of these rocketry videos, go to the Apogee Components website at www.apogeerockets.com and go to that downloads menu, scroll down, get to advanced construction videos, and you'll probably find 40 or 50 of these videos, and we're adding more about every two weeks. So again, thank you for coming, and may the winds be light, and may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.